Why is he not angry? And yelling at everybody and, and wants to kill somebody. And they said, and somebody said, because he did it himself. <laughs> he did it. And then everybody starts saying, he did it, he's the bad guy. And, and in the end, they discovered that it was these three men, they well, caught these three men, and he came on TV again, and he said every morning, I have to forgive these men before I start my day, every day. I, it, this is an everyday thing that I have to do. It's a should I cannot continue my day without forgiving them. He said, I, although I cannot live otherwise. And this is the way it is for you and I. Maybe there are things in our life that are very discouraging that have happened to us. And every morning, maybe it's failure. Maybe it's fear. Maybe it's something that someone has done to you. Maybe you've done something to somebody else. Uh, maybe there is some bad situation, uh, great need in your life. Every morning, like this pastor, we have to take up our cross. The cross for him was to forgive these three men. For us it might be something different. We cannot start our day without this cross. You know, there's there's five ways that the devil tries to discourage us. Five ways. Yeah, it's close. Uh, you're doing a great job training. He's a great translator, isn't he? Yes. Okay, good job. Five day. What? Yet. Five yeah, ways that the devil tries to discourage you. Uh, yeah, the devil Number one, the the nuts, Daniel 7, verse 25. Uh, it says that, and this oh. is the Antichrist. It's Antichrist it's um, he shall wear down the saints of the Most High. You know, we know that the Antichrist does this, but the Antichrist represents a system. The system, system number one, wears us down. <laughs> the system. system. You know what I'm talking about? Anybody know the system? <laughs> could work, you know, it could be politically. It could be economic, it could be the education system, it could be the health system, you know, it could be any system, it could even be a social system, this world system. Oh my God, I remember living in Ukraine and uh, every, every month I had to go to Ovir or Vivir or, and I had to like beg them for my registration. You know, it was just like such a, oh my gosh, you know, such a burden. But that's, that's just very little though. This compared to um, other, what other people experience. The system, the system, the system wants system to wear us down. It wants to make us tired. I was at the post office uh, and uh, I went to the post office. The post office is, in the United States is, is a government-run organization and it's very inefficient. Uh, it's a lot of issues, a lot of wasting, a lot of billions of dollars. Uh, when you go there, it's just not organized. And uh, I was there, and there was, uh, and the people that work there are not motivated at all. They just they don't want to be there. And there's like a dark atmosphere in this post office. And there's this long line. And there are these two ladies working there. 
And they're just moving really slow. And the You know, and it's like I'm watching them. And I'm thinking in my mind, if I was the manager here, what would I change? I would just, you know, I'd fire her. And I'd fire him. And I'd get, you know, get these people. I get someone to do that, and she's wasting her time with that. And one lady had these. She had these purple eyelashes that were just went out like that. Red, red and pink hair, uh, fingernails really long and gold. And, I thought, okay. and, and so, I'm not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, and everybody's getting angry at these, at these two ladies. This never happens to you, I'm, I know. <laughs> but I'm standing in the line, I'm like, I can feel, I can feel like the anger. <laughs> and I feel like when I get there, I'm just going to like, I'm going to explain to them for a half hour. Like, it's like, your, your post office is so disorganized. It's a disaster. No wonder it's billions of dollars that we're showing. You know, <laughs> and you know, God touched my heart. You know? I thought, I thought, you know, you know, I thought, I wonder what's happening in these in this lady's life. You know, so I got I got to the front, you know, and 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 I I also wonder was to mail a package. That's all I wanted to do. Give me stamps. 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 Give me Вам добре, вам не зле. You know, are you okay? Вам не How is your day going? Як як взагалі вам все? She goes, I'm having a terrible day. Вона каже, мені це просто жахливий день. I said I can see that. Я бачу. And I said, well, what happened? And she said, well, my best friend died. Uh, yeah, but then, what happened? And, 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 and the, the funeral was today. And I could not go because I had to work. And I began to talk to her a little bit about you know, heaven and found out she's a Christian. And, and she just brightened up and she brightened up or she her mood changed. And she began to work, you know, she began to move quicker and <laughs> she said, you know, she said, where, where are you from? You know, what church are you from? I said, oh, greater grace. And she said, oh, I heard that your pastor passed away. He died. And, and I'm sorry to hear. I used to listen to him all the time. And the whole thing changed. Because when you fight the system, you're going to break your hands. You're going to break your head. Right. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever want to be a politician. Uh, <laughs> Pastor Yura was, had a vision for that. Pastor Yura was a bold, courageous man. I think the best way to, to not get discouraged by the system is to live in grace. You know, I, I think many of us have stories of how we've overcome the system with just grace. Graciousness. Identification. Compassion. Compassion makes the system just melt. And you, and you connect with the person. Number two. Um, yeah, I'm here with you guys one day. I'm just going to speak 24 hours. Uh, toxic people. Toxic people. Toxic people. Toxic people. These are not people from Chernobyl. But toxic people. People that are poisoned on the inside. Judges 16, 16. Delilah. She was toxic. She was a woman that was poisonous. 
вона була отруйною жінкою. And she nagged and tempted Samson every day. І вона постійно вимучувала і нила до Самсона кожного дня. Samson did not help the situation. І Самсон не справився з ситуацією. He was he was there as a receiving it. І він приймав це. And it says that she vexed his soul to death. І сказано, що вона докучала йому словами і змучила його душу до смерті. Wow, those are some heavy words, huh? That's the that's the that's what a toxic person can do to you. Ось що може зробити вам токсична особа. Person that's poisoned inside. Людина, яка всередині отруєна. Don't spend time with toxic people. Не не проводьте часу з отруйними людьми. Вони вас не уходять. Just say, hey, you know what? Hey, просто скажи, знаєш, знаєш, що Praise the Lord. Love you. I I don't know what to say. Що ти є? Я не знаю, що ти є. I just I gotta guard my heart. I I can't be around you. Я просто дальше з тобою не можу проводити час. Ти не можеш 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 проводити час. Just limit your time. Because they will wear you down. And discourage you. And and that is not God's will. It's a Samson. Samson. Experienced the wearing down. In his soul. Number three. Uh, sometimes the wearing down can happen in the ministry. Часом змучення може відбутися у служінні. You know when you're serving God. Коли ви служите Богу. And it's not the ministry that wears us down. І це не служіння нас змучує. Sometimes we may have a family member. Ми можемо мати члена сім'ї. That is just said I'm so tired. Який каже? Of working in the church. Я так втомився. Or I'm so tired of doing this and doing that. Робити те і те. We have to meet so many times. I'm so tired of that. А ми так часто зустрічаємося. Я так змучений. But it's not the church. Нам треба занадто часто збиратися. Я змучився. Але це не церква змучення. And it's not what's happening in the church. Це не те, що в церкві відбувається. It's the fact that we're doing it in the flesh. Це факт того, що ми робимо це в плоті. Many of us in this room here are involved in in the church. Не мало з нас всіх. We have to do things in the church. Worship, preach, pray, teach. Programs. And sometimes we just get worn down. You know, we get worn down. And this is Second Corinthians chapter one verse eight. It's like, you know. There can be external things that happen to us that cause us to try to do the work of God in the flesh. And whenever you and this happens to all of us, don't don't judge yourself. All of us get tired, and we need to be encouraged. That's why we come to conferences like this. We come to we come here to get encouraged. But if you and I do the ministry of the Lord, the energy of the flesh, then we're going to be worn down. The average pastor in America lasts four years. Ah, за середньостатистичними даними, пастор в Америці може служити чотири роки. And and that's sad. І це сумна статистика. Paul was in a very desperate situation in Second Corinthians one verse eight. Друг Коринтяну дивися, Павло був у вічей душній ситуації. He had a lot of trouble in Asia. A lot of pressure. And even his life was in danger. But he was encouraged. He was encouraged inside. Number four. You know what the fourth thing is? The fourth thing is interesting. And it doesn't really seem that it would wear us down, but it does. It's pleasure and entertainment. You know, when we have so much entertainment, it wears down our spirit. Movies. 
фильмы. On the internet. В интернете. Uh, these different, you know, things that we do. Все разные вещи, которые мы занимаемся. Did you ever go on vacation? Вы на каникулы ездили куда-то? And at the end of the vacation, you're just so tired. You're like, I'm exhausted. I need a vacation after my vacation. You know, and it's because our spirit can get worn down by. Uh, that's why the the writer of Proverbs said that too much honey is not good. Number five and number and the last one. Uh, and this is a big one. It's a big. Revelations 12, verse 10. Uh, the atmosphere. 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 Yeah, that's a funny one. You ever go somewhere and the atmosphere is like soup? Uh, you know, and it wears us down. And you don't know why you're tired, but you're just exhausted. And it's the oppression of the atmosphere. It's a this oppression of atmosphere. And it's because in Romans, in Revelation chapter 12, verse 10, the atmosphere accuses the brethren. Atmosfera оскаржує братів. Оскаржує братів. There are there's one other I can add. You and I. Ми з вами. No, no. Yeah, we we ourselves. Ми самі. Wear ourselves now. Uh, because we analyze ourselves. We criticize ourselves. This is Romans 8, 1 and 2. We condemn ourselves. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1. Uh, we are judging ourselves. We beat ourselves up. You know, we say, how can I be a good, I'm not a good pastor. I'm not a good mother. And I just want to tell you something. You are your you are the worst critic of yourself. And also you're the most subjective critic. Subjective. Subjective. Yeah, like, Subjective. You, there is no, you are the last person that should be analyzing yourself. Because that's subjectivity. Paul said that I don't judge myself. Because it's the Lord that builds me up in that. And I just want to finish with this. When we are worn down, uh, it affects four things. It, it, physically, physically, physically. I mean, you know, physically. Physically. You know, when you're spiritually worn down, you're going to experience it physically. Духовно змучені ви пересвідчите це фізично. Sometimes physically we don't feel good. It's just because of spiritual down. That's Romans 8 verse 11. Number two, uh, when we are worn down, we're mentally affected. Because we don't have any faith resting in our mind. In our mind. Mentally we become tired. Uh, number three, we become emotionally emotionally worn down uh, and this is what happens is that when a person's being worn down uh, they become overstimulated emotionally in their soul overstimulated emotionally. and then lastly of course spiritually um, because when we are in an environment that wears us down continually, we have to make sure that we are being built up. And I just want to say one practical thing before we close. If you are somewhere, 
wherever it might be. Uh, geographically or I don't know, wherever. And you're being worn down. And you're finding things in the center of your soul that shouldn't be there. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter how good it is. Get out of it. Leave. Go somewhere else. Because the end of it, the end of it is going to be destruction. If you're being worn down and worn down, and you don't have a system to build yourself up, and I, I want to talk about that next. But not about the next time. How we build ourselves up. If we don't have a system to build ourselves up, then just get out of that place where you're at. To detect us from missing the Find a place where you can get built. As they did, missed that we must have built as buddhawan and as missed and as missed. It might not be the ideal location for you. Це може не бути ідеальним місцеположенням для вас. But just get to a place where you can get built up. Але просто попадіть в те місце, де ви будете змістеним. Because um, Bo. Because of what we just said. Bo, через те все, що ми попередньо сказали. Just make bold decisions. Робіть сміливі рішення. Just say, you know, I don't know. Because it's just not edifying place for me. Тут мені просто не воно мене не збудовується місце. I need to go somewhere and get built up. А піду на якесь місце, де я буду жити якось по іншому буду збудовувати. Because your soul is more important than your body. Бо ваша душа куди важливіша вашого тіла. More important than your financial situation. Куди важливіша ваших фінансів. And it's more important than your. Куди важливіша than than anything else. Ніж будь що інше. Because what the world does, but that's what we throw it. It says, I'm gonna, it'll give us, it'll give us, it'll try to give us everything. No matter it's a dead enough fair, but it'll steal your soul. As a brother was, it'll steal your soul. As a brother, it'll steal your emotions. It'll steal your mind. It'll steal your soul. It'll steal your soul. It'll steal your soul. All five parts of your soul. It'll steal your soul. It'll steal your soul. Not losing our salvation, but you'll discover like I'm losing my soul. So. Next time, I don't know. Let's see. When is the next time we speak here? Maybe during lunch or something. I don't know. At some point, we can just talk about how we practically build ourselves. Amen. Let's let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you've overcome the devil. For that compassion. Grace, faith, breaks through the program of discouragement and puts the tree of life in the right perspective. And we just want to ask you, God, today to realign our soul, our spirit. Lord, that we would just be focused on you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.